Hello. Hello. Well, um, I think I, like everybody else, came here thinking of our goals. Mm -hmm. But I found that as the days went by, I couldn't help it but just go a little bit beyond my goals. Mm -hmm. It was like my goals were no longer important. When Hill said, can you welcome that which is beyond all judgment, all goals, and let it just be. There was this strong yearning in me to just find that which he was talking about. So yesterday afternoon, I came to him briefly, and he said, you already died. Well, I went home last night. Because he has said, why don't you trace it, the yearning that you have, why don't you trace it to its origin, where it's coming from? So some friends wanted me to go out with them last night. After our dinner, I just felt I didn't want to do anything, but just went in, thinking about this whole thing. Then somehow I fell asleep. But early hours of this morning, I woke up with that statement still strong on my heart. And I heard this. Your problem is not the problem. Your story is. And somehow for the first time in my life, I found what he has always been talking about. A place where I didn't even know that I was there. A place where I saw myself as just a vehicle for the doer to just do through me. And clearly, a purpose that the rest of my life should be dedicated to was very well articulated. I started writing everything down. I just knew I, I'm not that of a good writer, but the words were just coming. So I just wanted to share this because I don't know who this will help. But also, so that Hale will work with me finally. <laughs> 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 that, that this new place I find myself in would just be the beginning where all the resistance would just drop because I don't know where this is taking me how many lives this will touch but I just know it's something beyond me Wonderful. <laughs> you can hold on to that. <laughs> so, you, as you were talking about it, you talked about it in the past tense. Yes. So see if, if it actually has ever changed. No. Yes. What you are is what you are. Yes. 
Now, I'll say this. I just know all this is in place. Because two days before I came here, I lost my driver's license. <laughs> it was with my passport. So that means it was going to be hard for me to fly here. After release, I called the airline, and the airline said, well, whatever you could get from the DMV, you may not have your picture on, but if you have your credit card, and that, that should be enough. What they didn't tell me is that the airline is different from TSA. <laughs> 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 so I went to the airport. It was no problem with the airlines. But when I finally got to TSA, they said, well, you mean to say you have no picture ID whatsoever? And I said, no. They said, well, we don't know how we're going to let you travel. But somehow when I release it, it never even occurred to me that this will happen. So even as they were talking, I still, it, I was like thinking, what are they talking about? You know, why can't they let me go? I'm not a terrorist, I'm not a criminal, I'm not any, why? But just to sh really prove that when you let go, something happens, the gentleman that was looking at my paper looked at me and he said, well, I don't think we'll let you go. And an idea came to me. I came with someone to the airport. And I said, well, she's a school teacher. She's been teaching forever. So I can get her driver's license. You could put it down as a security. So if something happened that I'm a terrorist or whatever, you know she was with me. So you, so you, <laughs> well, somehow, when he got hair driver's license, he called his boss. The boss looked, looked at the driver's license and he said, you're a school teacher? And he said, well, where do you teach? He said, San Gabriel High School. Then he looked at him. He said, Miss Ware, <laughs> I was in your ninth grade class. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he turned around to the guy and said, she was the best teacher. I know this guy is OK. He signed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even bother to ask how am I going to go back, but I, <laughs> but I don't know who else is at the airport. So. <laughs> <laughs>